Hi, I'm Mike Driscoll, the president of Indiana University of Pennsylvania, and it's my pleasure to talk to you today about a great partnership that illustrates a lot of what's right with IUP. We're very pleased to have our students working with Renda Broadcasting to provide you with video broadcast of Heritage Conference football games. Our students are working side by side with professionals in the industry, are making real world discoveries, learning how to do the business of an actual broadcast, and we know that when they walk out the door, they'll be ready to go to work and be productive immediately. It's a great service and it's a great way to feature our community athletic teams. Thanks very much. This is Mark Burdick, Vice President and General Manager of Renda Broadcasting. I hope you're enjoying tonight's telecast of our Heritage Conference Game of the Week. We at Renda Broadcasting are very proud of our partnership with the IUP Communications Media Department and the Heritage Conference. High school football is a part of the fabric of Western Pennsylvania, and every week our four radio stations here in Indiana County feature a game. Homer Center Wildcats play on AM 1160 WCCS, the Indiana High Little Indians on AM 1450 WD, AD, the Blairsville Bobcats on Cat Country 106.3 FM, and U92.5 features a different game every week involving Heritage Conference teams. U92 is also the home of the IUP Crimson Hawks and the Pittsburgh Penguins. We're receiving tremendous feedback on our telecasts and are enjoying working with the talented IUP communications media students who are making this production the success that it's turned out to be. So we hope you enjoy our coverage and I thank you for supporting the student athletes who work so hard both in and out of the classroom. Enjoy the game. Tonight's game is a presentation of the IUP Communications Media Department, Renda Broadcasting, and the Heritage Conference and is being brought to you by Octo Sport Grip. If you play basketball, baseball, football, or volleyball, you need to give Octo Sport Grip a try. It will give you the same tact feel you get when you first grip, catch, or throw a brand new leather ball. And it works great on the bottom of your shoes for exceptional court grip. For more information, visit info at octosportgrip.com. Indiana Regional Medical Center and I RMC at Chestnut Ridge, where moments matter. And by Luther Ford Lincoln in Homer City. Luther Ford is supporting breast cancer awareness by donating $100 for every car sold this month. If you come to Luther Ford, you'll buy at Luther Ford in Homer City. From Memorial Field in Homer City, welcome to the District 6 Class A playoffs in our IUP TV Game of the Week. Tonight, the Homer Center Wildcats open up District 6 Class A playoff competition hosting the Juniata Valley Hornets. And with Ward Hilliard, Mark Burdig with you from Memorial Field. And Ward, first of all, good to be back in the playoffs. For Homer Center, they haven't played in the District 6 playoffs since 2010. And I think everybody knows what happened in 2011 with the winless season and a real testament to the seniors and the leadership they showed to turn this ship completely around on their way to a Heritage Conference championship and for the first time since 2008, a home playoff game. Yeah, it's a, it's a great time for the school and the community. They had a bonfire last night, uh, it was pretty well attended. And, you know, it's a whole different attitude this year, Mark. The, uh, and those other years, they went in with, uh, you know, about an even record. But they're 9-1 and one going in here, and they really feel that they can make a run for the district championship. The Juniata Valley Hornets are 6-4. and four. They come off of a loss against Double A Huntington, and they ended up the seventh seed. And I'm kind of glad that they did. Nothing against Blairsville or Northern Cambria if they yeah. would have qualified, but it's always nice to play a different opponent in the playoffs. I think it adds to it, Ward, it gives it a different feel. Yeah, you get that, uh, that attitude that you're playing somebody that you haven't seen for a while. And Juniata is a team that we're familiar with. Uh, having played them quite often in basketball, but not so much in football. And I, I think it's going to be entertaining for the people. And it's going to be cold, too. <laughs> Mike Slyani, the former baseball coach, reminded me they shut them out at the old Grayston ball field in baseball, too, in the District 6 playoffs. <laughs> but this is the first ever meeting for these two teams. Just looking very quickly at Juniata Valley, they have an outstanding quarterback in Caleb Taylor, who has passed for over 1,600 yards. Their fullback, Jesse Clark, has rushed for nearly 1,300 yards, and he's also their leading receiver. Those two will be a lot to handle for Homer Center, who have had trouble defending the pass, including last week. Well, they had trouble defending anything last week. They were not real strong defensively, and I think that's the one thing that's got to change, Mark. I think the one thing that we need to recognize is the fact that despite having about a third of its offense out, maybe even more with Mike Newhouse, they were able to score three times against Portage, and they put up a lot of yardage. Unfortunately, they could not stop Portage, and that is the key. And I said before the game, 
Defense is what wins championships. They're going to need to control the fullback of Juniata Valley, force them to throw the ball more than they want to. They're going to be successful. And I think it all going to start up front. Homer's got seven kids along that front line offensively. They got four defensively. They got to control the football game. Homer Center will be without Colby School Teddy tonight. Mike Newhouse, who was injured against Portage, going to give it a go. He was fitted with a brace. He can break the record, move ahead of the uh, school's second all-time leading rusher. I think you know who that is because it was your son uh, back in the 96 to 98 era. Mike needs 29 yards. Let's hope he moves ahead of Mr. Michael Hilliard. Yeah, he won't mind. Michael won't mind that, uh, that the other Michael Newhouse gets that record. He deserves it. Great runner, and hopefully, yeah, he can get through tonight and he can play well and doesn't get uh, further injury. And he needs 70 yards to go over 1,000 to join teammate Ian Lee and that would be the first Indiana County running back tandem to do that uh, ever, as far as I can tell. Ian went over 1,000 last uh, week. He had a good, solid game. Let's hope that both of them can have big games here tonight, Ward. Yeah, I think they're going to need that to control the football. Don't allow Juniana to control it. If they do that, they're going to be successful. And they would host a home playoff game right back here next Friday night in the semifinals. So that's going to do it for our pregame show here on IUP-TV. Stay tuned. The opening kick is next. It's the Wildcats of Homer Center hosting the Juniata Valley Hornets, in case you're wondering, 77 miles from Memorial Field. We're coming back with the opening kick after this on IUP-TV. You're watching Heritage Conference Tuesday Night Football, brought to you by the Communications Media Department of IUP and Renda Broadcasting. Tonight's matchup features the Juniata Valley Hornets versus the Homer Center Wildcats next on IUP TV.